Hello students, all of you. Uh, the students appearing Meghalaya Board of School Education Class 10 Examination 2022. So I welcome you once again in my YouTube channel. And uh, today I'm going to give you sample paper of English. So let's start without losing any time. So let's start with the poetry now. Okay. Alone. Question number one. Alone see cuts and bind the grain and sugar and sign a melancholy strain. Okay, who is the poet addressing at this point? Who is she and where is she? What kind of effect did she have on the poet? And second question, a voice so thrilling near was heard in springtime from the cuckoo bird. Prior to this, which bird song is the reaper's song compared to? Who might uh, this a thrilling voice do there? And who might the cuckoo bird be heard? Life, believe, is not a dream. So dark as sages say, uh, so dark as the sages say, uh, who is being asked to believe and which of the following is true? The sages say they are dark, life is not a dream, life is not a dark dream. Okay, what analogy does the poet use later to clarify her statement about life? It was all over so quickly that at first they could hardly realize it and remained in a state of expectation as though of something else to happen. Who was all over so quickly? Who could hardly realize it? And why were they in a state of expectation? And what might they have hoped would happen? If you still go doing wickedly, you will go from the darkness to darkness. Now question is here, who says this and to whom? And then what does the speaker do next? And, and then in, Write this sentence in your own words, explaining what it means. And then the next question, semicolon, start it ever. You hear the fable of the mountain and the mouse. Who says these words and to whom? What do the lines that follow this question tell you about what the fable's moral might be? And what had the captain intended to do where he first came up to complain to Mr. Flelweni. The bold sea cried loudly, come down, I can't reach it. Who is the speaker of the given line and who is the speaker calling it? And why did she cry for the bold? Our next question will be great Caesar. Now what have I done? Who says these words? To whom has the speaker been speaking, speaking prior to this? To whom the speaker has been speaking prior to this? And how is this particular situation reached. Long question from the poem. Question number one, their life would not be provided if we did not all have hope. How does the poet bring out the message of hope and faith in the in the poem life? And how does the William Wordsworth show that the songs sung by the solitary reaper was really enchanting and beautiful? And what is the opinion of the wise man about life? And what a message is the poet trying to give us uh, and give evidence for your answer and what are the what are the treasures that have been uh, what are the treasures that have been torn from the breast and where have the indian soldier fallen and been buried and what fitting memorial will be accepted for the fallen soldier next question <laughs> who is the solitary reaper and what is he doing in what Way is the night angle song, welcome and cuckoo's song thrilling. How does the reaper's song affect the poet? And what is making the poet unhappy? What sound does the poet want to hear? And what sight does the poet want to see? Rapid reader now. How is one of the thieves miss wounded? Who said this and to whom? Who was referred to as the thief and why? And then narrate in your own world the kind of treatment that the person referred to as a thief received in the houses he was supposed to be roping. Next question. Now you have given us most valuable help, young woman. Who is the young woman and what is the valuable help that she had given? What was the fate that the young woman faced later on because of that valuable help? A meeting was held and... The boys, they drew, lost to decide who should walk up to the master after supposed to ask for more. And what was going to be asked for, why, on whom did the 
this is the lot to ask for more relate what punishment the person had to suffer after he asked for more i won't be 10 minutes sir said oliver eagerly and set off on his errand what errand was oliver sent on by mr brownlaw and why did mr brownlaw allow him to go and then did oliver return why next question it wasn't me sir it was the two uh it was the two other boys they are somehow said oliver looking around rounded desperately who are the other two boys and what had they done why was oliver looking around the and desperately next question bill bill she gasped assisting him with the strength of mental fear tell me what i have done i was not scream who is she and why is she resisting and then what happened to her eventually our dama and Damon, you be yellowed to the crowd who rolled at the side of him. I will cheat you yet. Who was he to yell at the crowd? And why were the <coughs> crowd yelling? And what followed after that? Next question. Give me a rope a long one, said Sykes. The tide was up and I came in. Why was uh, Bill Sykes? asking for a rope and with whom how did he try to escape and what happened to him eventually next question while he was awaiting his end he was visited in prison by mr brownlaw and oliver who was awaiting his end and what happened to the Fezin? and why did mr brownlaw take oliver to the prison and how did oliver live a settled life gathered like pearls in their alien grapes, silently they sleep by the precious waves. Why are the grapes alien? What are gathered and why are they like pearls? And what is mean by silent they sleep? Full well they laughed with the counter with the counterfasted. At all his jokes for many a joke had he who was loved and who had money, who had many a joke, why did they love with the with the counterfoil? With the counterfasted. Always I climbed the wave at the morning, took the sand for my shoes at night, and what could be the poet mean by I climbed the wave? As implied by these lines, how long did the poet spend on the beach every day? And next question, what does the poet like the most? The next question, dread the bell in the fall outside. Okay, what does the dread mean? And why would a bell be rung when it was foggy? And what might happen to a skip off uh, the coast of Maine if they don't hear, if they didn't hear? And why did uh, Romeo kill Ty, Ty Belt? Okay, Romeo killed Ty Belt. And what prediction did the Brahmins make about the prince on his bird? They describe the physical appearance of the RTC from, from the prose now. He started, made a short run, stopped and looked over his shoulder there, there, sir. I timidly explained also Georgian, Georgiana, this is my mother. And why did he act as he did? And what does the boy point out timidly to him? And why does the boy say also Georgiana and not just the Georgiana? Okay, say Lord strike you did. Uh, if you don't say the man I said so and he took me down to whom is the man talking and why does he say this and why does the, the responder take the oath and what does a, take me crown refer to next question before he could conjecture how this fatal accident had fallen out Juliet or wake out of a terrain. Who was trying to work out and how these accidents had taken place? And what were the accidents? And what did Juliet do immediately afterwards? And what did, did the Mando? Okay, never mind, dear, said his wife, soothing, perhaps yellow, you will you will be him the next day. Next one, sorry, next one. Why who said these words and to whom? And what comments were made by the previous speaker and why does the wife make this response now the two question marks from proof 
Okay, why was the captain Smollett unhappy with the whole crew? And the next question, what suggestion did the captain make to Mr. Trelawney? Okay, Trelawney. Yeah, what was, uh, what were the arrangement of the ship as the, per the linkings of the captain? And why was Silver told to go and attain hands? Okay, what is Bodhisattva? And what was special about the baby? What is meant by a hushed descendant on the crowd and why did this happen and what name was the baby given why did the prince's father send him away and what gift did the prince receive and what did the demon's belly look like and what kind of uh, what kind of king did the prince became and how was the convict dressed why did the friars lawrence consist to join the Hands of Romeo and Juliet in marriage. And how did the demon look like when Saul and himself? Now, what was the difference in Mr. Pringle's manner? The time when she saw speaking to other in the room. And how and why did Juliet take her own life? And why did Mr. Arpan and Mr. Pringle flowers? Okay, why and how did the prince rebuild the Montague and the couplet? And why was Mr. Trenway? Trelawney hired Captain Sip and the crew. And what was the convict interested to hear that the Pip's brother-in-law was a blacksmith? What was special about the monkey's paw? Long question now. How did the convict look like? And what does the convict tell Pip about his companion and why does he do this? How did Pip describe his countryside? What were the first impressions of the Pip of his parents and where had he derived this from and what were the two respected families of the Verona and what shape did they find between the two families of the Verona and then what was the Romeo's purpose in going to the mask bolt how did Romeo came to be vanished from the Verona and what was the plan of the friar law Renzi to unite Romeo and Juliet how did he pl his plan go wrong? Uh, what happened when Romeo C. Count Paris at the churchyard of the couplets? How did Romeo die? Why did the Juliet take her own life? Next question, who were the White's family? And why did the family listen to the surgeon major with the interest? And give at least three re re uh, give at least three reasons with evidence from the text uh, when Maurice was asked about the monkey's paw, what, uh, why did <clears throat> he dismiss the question of hand, hand and lead? The next question, what kind of spell did the Pakis put on the paw? Why, what kind of the person was Herbert? Give evidence for your answer by quoting from the text. And why does Herbert, Herbert suggests that they're asking for precisely 200 pounds. And what was the second wish of the White's family? And what prompted Mr. White to make the last ways narrate the incident that follows after that. Okay.